Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wave animation effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to download some assets. So I'm just using free pick for the water and I've just used uh, Vector Easy for this boat. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. I'm just going to call it main. It's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels, uh, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Press OK. Once we have that, we need to import our assets. So just go right click, file import. And now the way I've set this up is I'm just going to import it as a composition. And then you can see all the layers are down here. So we're going to start with the water first and I'm just going to rename it. And then I'm going to add the rocks, which are going to be on top. And then I'm going to add the boat, which is going to be the top layer. So now that I have all three uh, of my assets, I'm just going to press S for scale and I'm just going to make sure that it fits in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press toggle switches and hit this continuously rasterize button and that makes sure that the quality is always very nice. So now once you have all of your assets, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to the water layer and we are going to add some turbulent displays. I'm going to hold option. I'm going to hit that stopwatch for evolution and I'm going to write time times 50. And you can see what's actually happening there. Now we don't want it to go that crazy. So we're going to drop the size to about 30 and you can see it's just moving slightly. So that's exactly what we want. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to create a new solid and we are going to call this uh, wave uh, map. And I'm just gonna make sure that that's above the water layer. I am gonna search for the effect called uh, fractal noise. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down to the transform settings. I'm gonna go untick a uniform scaling. I'm just gonna drop that scale height to about 20. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the evolution options and I'm gonna hit option and hit that stopwatch and write time times 500. And so now we've got this, you know, kind of TV fuzz in the background. So that's looking pretty cool. Then what I'm going to do is above that, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. And on the adjustment layer, I'm going to search for an effect which is called uh, displacement map. So in the displacement map, I'm going to set the displacement map layer to the wave map and then change it to effects and masks. I'm going to change the horizontal displacement to luminance and I'm going to increase that to about 100. I'm going to change the vertical displacement also to luminance and I'm just going to bump that up to about 10. And now you've got these weird, uh, you know, artifacts on the side, but we can fix that by pressing this uh, wrap pixels around. And so now we have this cool kind of wave effect. And when we actually turn off the wave map, you can see what it looks like in the water. And that looks pretty cool. Uh, if you want to change any of the settings, you know, you can, you can increase this or you can do whatever you like, really. The only other thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop the opacity. So I'm going to press T for opacity, bring it down to about 75%. And I think that looks pretty cool. The next uh, animation that we are going to do is on the boat. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple scale up and down animation to mimic the water going up and down, I guess. So I'm just going to bring this to a even number. So about 215. I'm going to hit that stopwatch for scale. I'm going to move forward in time, you know, a few frames. I'm going to bring it down to about, let's say maybe 210. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that first keyframe and I'm just going to post it in there just like that. So now you can see what is actually happening. The boat is moving up and down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try and make sure that that's in the middle. I'm just going to go to uh, animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and I'm going to hold option. I'm just going to drag that out to probably about two seconds. So now you can see that it goes in, comes out, but now we need it to loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option, click that stopwatch, and then just write loop out, press tab, and then it's going to loop out for the entire duration of that composition. Cool, so now that we've done that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the waves. So we're gonna create a new composition. I'm just gonna call it waves. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle just like that on the screen. Now for the color, I did go to this website which is called coolers.co and I uploaded my uh, water background and it gave me all these colors. So I'm going to use this color here for my first color and then I'm going to take that back into After Effects. So now there's two ways that you can do this. You can use the fill setting there or you can just uh, add the fill effect and we can change the color just like that. So once we have changed the color, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the wave warp effect. And we're just gonna change the wave width to about 200. We're gonna change the speed to 1.5. We also need to make sure that both sides are exactly the same because right now they are a little bit different. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to use the mirror tool and change the reflection angle to 90 degrees. And so now we have both the same wave going on both sides. So once we have that, then we need to make this side a little bit smaller. So to do that, we need to go and open up the rectangle one path, and then we can right click and go to convert to Bezier path. So now once you've converted to a Bezier path, all you need to do is make sure that you select the path. And then what you need to do is you just need to hold shift and click on that top point over there and just drag it down a bit until you get something the size of the boat. So once you're happy with that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back to our main composition and we need to drag that uh, waves composition underneath the boat. So I'm just going to move it around here, press R for rotation, and then just try and line it up just like that. So obviously it's a bit too big. So what we can do is we can just change the scale until it fits right underneath the boat, just like that. Cool, so now that's looking pretty cool. So now we need to make it look a little bit better. So to do that, what we need to do is, if I right click on that, and then if I go to layer styles and then go to inner shadow, I can change a few things in here. So for example, the first thing I wanna do is change it to the blend mode to normal. I'm gonna change um, the color to white so you can see what's actually happening here. I then am going to change the angle to about 130. I'm gonna change the distance to zero. I'm gonna change the choke to about 50%. And I'm gonna change the size to maybe somewhere up around there, like 160 or something like that. I'm gonna increase the noise to about 10%. And you can see what it looks like there so now we have this cool kind of effect with the boat so the next thing that we can do here is we can duplicate that so i'm just going to press command d to duplicate that i'm just going to change the scale and i'm going to put a smaller wave inside that so i'm going to change the color so i'm going to open it up and i'm going to go to the effects and for this one, I'm just gonna go to this color over here. So a little bit of a lighter blue. And then I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna change the color. Or if you want, you can just, you know, change it manually to whatever you like. And then I can go back to my main settings and then I can just open up the uh, settings over here. And if I go into layer styles, the inner shadow styles, I can change a few things, you know, for example, if you wanna change, you know, maybe some of the size or if you wanna change some of the choke, you know, totally up to you. Uh, you can even change the angle if you want. So play around with some of these settings until you're happy with uh, everything. And then what we need to do is we need to animate it. So now to animate it, what we need to do is I'm just gonna create a new null object. I'm just gonna make sure that that's right at the top. I'm gonna make sure that I highlight the boat and the two waves. And I'm just going to uh, parent it to that null object. It's gonna press P for position. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that stopwatch. I'm gonna move it maybe down here. And then I'm gonna go to the end of the composition and I'm just gonna move it maybe around around there, just so you don't see the ends of the, the waves. So now you've got the boat and it's moving and it's looking pretty cool. And the final thing that we can do here is add some clouds. So to add some clouds, what we need to do is we need to create another new composition. I'm just gonna call this uh, clouds. And inside of here, I'm just gonna create a new solid, make sure that it's white. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to draw an ellipse, something like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called turbulent displace. And I'm just going to change up the values. So I'm going to change it to 200. I'm going to change the size to about 50. And I'm going to press Alt click on that stopwatch and write time times 50. And so now we've got like a weird blob that's happening there. But when we go to our mask settings and increase our feather to about 200, now it's like, you know, pretty smooth and it's looking a little bit like a cloud. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add another adjustment layer with some more turbulent displays. And in this turbulent displays, we're going to change the uh, size to about 50. And we are going to, again, all click the evolution time times 50. And so now we have a pretty cool looking cloud. And we're also going to increase the complexity to about 10 or so. And that looks pretty cool. And now what we can do is we can go into our main composition and add some clouds. Cool, so once you have your cloud in there, I'm just gonna press S for scale and just make it a little bit smaller. All right, I'm gonna put that there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna put it down here somewhere. Maybe I'll make that even smaller. And then I'm just gonna animate that. So I'm just gonna press P for position. Make sure you're on the first keyframe. Hit that stopwatch move forward to the end of the composition and I'm just going to move it over there and then I'm going to do the same for the top layer so I'm just going to hit that position position stopwatch and then I'm just going to move backwards and I'm just going to put it over here so now we have two little bits of cloud that move as the boat goes through and I think that's looking pretty cool so the final thing that we need to do to tie it all up together is we need to add another adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer we're going to add some noise so I'm just going to bump that up to probably about 10% something like that so now once you added the noise, the final thing that you can do is you can add some Lumetri color. So if I just go down to the creative options and if I slide through to Gold Rush, either HDR or LDR, whichever one you like, I'm just gonna drop that intensity down to probably something around like 40 or something like that. And there we have it. There is a simple boat wave animation uh, created in After Effects. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.